Hey guys, what is up? Cody Carter coming at you once again. Now today, little survival miniseries part two. I'm actually going to be covering fire. Now the most important thing to remember is always to have more than one way to start a fire. Right here on the table I have four different ways to start a fire. Even though these two are kind of similar. Um, I have a little tinders to help me keep uh, start a fire, keep the fire going a little bit. Um, I also have this. I'll explain that in a little bit. So the first and most obvious thing is a Bic lighter. Uh, you could buy store brand lighters, you know, uh, go to Walmart, buy their little brand or whatever. But in, in for a couple cents extra, the reliability of a Bic is is far, excuse me, far superior to to any store brand lighter or anything like that. This thing, I've had it for several weeks. I've used it every day. It still works just fine. It's beautiful. These things last for a really long time. They're really durable. You buy those clear ones with the chintzy little plastic. They tend to break under any kind of pressure. But these things, you know, like I said, really durable, really hard, very reliable. So a Bic lighter is always the way to go, in my opinion. I just never found a lighter that lasts longer or that holds up to more things. Number two here, a nice little, this is pretty small, pretty pretty lightweight, pretty simple, as most waterproof match containers are. You, you can pretty much find these in every size and shape imaginable. A lot of them are little, little round things. <clears throat> I like this one because... It has obviously the little the little lid for it and the striker here. Let me let me pull one of these out and do it for you. There we go. I don't like using all these, but I'm gonna use it anyway. So here we go. That's a nice. That's it's got the little clasp on the top. You see, it's waterproof. It's pretty nice. Striker's there on the bottom. Boom. Pretty nice little fire you got there. So I do like these. These are pretty good matches. This is a pretty good setup. As far as being completely waterproof, I don't know. I didn't want to stick it in a bathtub. You know what I'm saying? But, looks like it works pretty well. Pretty nice. I like it. Now this right here, what we have here, I'll show you if, if I can clean some of that dust off. Right in here, there's a, a piece of steel, and right here is your magnesium rod. So what happens is when you squeeze this together, it pushes the steel right up to it. Oh, there we go. So that's, <clears throat> it's a pretty simple design. Squeeze it, push it, fire. This isn't the most reliable by any stretch of the imaginations. I really like using the matches. I really like using the Bic, but as far as something like this goes, if you don't want to, if you don't want to use the Bic, you want to save the Bic, you want to save the matches, go for something like this. It's nice, it's simple, it's easy. And, it, it, and I've started fires with it before, it works just fine. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get it going. But in, in reality, I keep this outside, uh, my backpack actually, this one specifically, along with my first aid kit, it's carabiner to the outside of the bag. <laughs> and lastly, if if you get really desperate, I have what this is the nice heavy duty flashlight that I have in the bag, but this has a little ferro rod here at the end. So you would take your knife, take something like this, and what you would do, and this is a little more difficult, obviously, because it's not a nice little setup like this. But what you would do is just let me. There we go. Oh my. There you go. So you get a nice little spark. This is going to be, obviously, a lot more labor-intensive than any of the other. But still, it's basically the same setup as this. Um, you're just going to have to work a little bit harder for it. So right here, I have <clears throat> four different ways to start a fire. Right here. Look how small. I can fit it all in one hand. It's not very, not very big, not heavy at all. And for something as vital as fire, for boiling water, for cooking, for heat... A fire is one of the most important things that you'll ever have. Now, what I have over here is a little, it's kind of like a tip, I guess. A nice thing to, to learn about is ways to start a fire. 
a lot of, you know, you got to learn how to, you, you got your dry grass and your small twigs and your kindling and, and you got to learn how to build it up. You got to learn how to keep it going. And you got to learn how to use all this stuff safely. Matches, anything like that, if you're in a really dry area, can lead to big forest fires and you can get yourself hurt or killed. So you got to learn how to use it properly. And there are a few other ways to start a fire that don't involve any of this. One of them I've seen, not a lot of many people use it because it's kind of, it's not necessarily labor intensive, but it can be really annoying because it's very hard to get right, is um, like water magnification, where you have a concave clear plastic and you have a, a layer of water in it. And if you hit the sun just right, it obviously will magnify it and start a little fire. Things like that. So that's kind of like your own little independent thing. You should definitely research how to use this stuff effectively and responsibly. Don't hurt yourself, please. I take no responsibility for you hurting yourself. So that's about it on fire. Um, I'm not going to sit here and teach you how to, how to make a fire with this video. Um, like I said, this stuff is really nice. If you hit these with a spark, what you're supposed to do, they come in these little pads. So you take your knife and you cut them open and you fray them open and you get a nice little, it looks almost like a cotton ball. You hit that with the one of the spark from either of the ferro rods. That's going to start going. It's going to light up pretty nice. You throw your dry grass on there, your leaves, your twigs to get it built up nice and good. Um, one day in the, the near future, I will do a fire building video. But as for right now, um, it, it's dark out. I have to hit the hay here pretty soon. So I'm not going to do anything with it. I want to finish this little mini series first. But um, that's about it. If you guys have any questions or, or, or you know, you find a nice, easier way to make some fire, just go ahead and shoot it down in the comments. Let me know. And that's about it. So I will see you guys next time. Remember, it's your life. Live it.